I'm Kelsey Green and welcome to this month's Hashtag All The Feels. Today we are unpacking Psalm 136 and talking through the emotion of gratitude. Have you ever talked to a friend or family member about a bad situation or issue in your life? And before you can even finish the story, they're interrupting you and telling you how bad the people in third world countries have it or how their neighbor just got into a terrible accident. So you should be grateful for all you have. This would be guilt-ridden gratitude, not something that is genuine or that will even last. Once the guilt wears off from that conversation, then the gratitude has also worn off and that same situation is staring you in the face. We want to be able to have genuine biblical outlook on gratitude. And Psalm 136 offers us that healthy perspective. Genuine gratitude is developed when we as the children of God are enlightened of the extent of his love for us. When we are convinced of the loyal love of God, we will have a heart that overflows with gratitude, no matter the present circumstance or situation. The real pressing question though is, how can we see and experience the love of God daily, even amidst troubling times? Psalm 136 points out three ways we can keep gratitude at the forefront of our heart by remembering these ways that God is showing his love to us. First, it speaks of the love of God's creation. Daily, we are seeing the breath and presence of God that he spoke into existence all around us. One of my greatest hiking adventures is when me and my husband hiked Mount Quandry in Colorado that stands over 14,000 feet tall. It was not an easy hike by any means, but once at the top of the mountain, I was able to overlook all the other smaller mountains and lakes that we could see from above. I really felt the majesty and creativity of God's creation all around. But in that same instant, I was humbled by the sight because I recalled Matthew 6, 25 and 30. And it says, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which are here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you? Man, when I hear that, you can see God's love so much through his creation, but we are his most beloved creation of all. I see that my life is not added to when I am anxious, but it is developed when I have trust and gratitude in my heavenly Father. Second, we know God's love through his saving grace. The Israelites every year at Passover remind themselves and their families of God's provision to save them and that his love endures through the ages. This helps them to keep gratitude at the forefront of their hearts because they know God's grace has given them so much to be grateful for. When we as Christians read John 3.16, we should be reminded of God's unconditional and unwavering love for his children, that he sacrificed everything just to have a relationship with us. This fills my heart with gratitude to know that even while I was living in sin and I am still a sinful person, God saw potential and worth in me. Lastly, we see God's love and how he provides for us. God's provision comes in countless ways in our lives and the big and small, God always shows up. A time that God showed up for me in a big way was when I was moving back to Texas from Colorado. I had an unexpected bill from my last apartment for $700, dollars 
Moving is really expensive, so money was really tight. I had no clue how I was gonna pay off this massive bill. And that same week while I was freaking out and so anxious, I received a check in the mail from my last employer that I was not expecting. They are reimbursing me for all the vacation time I didn't take. And do you know how much that check was for? $700. God always provides and is always on time. When we are aware of God's goodness and love for us, that begins to overflow into every other area of our life as gratitude. I've heard it said like this before, gratitude can turn what you have into enough. When we know the love of God, then he can turn what we already have into enough, and that's gratitude. I pray that as your home group discusses these different aspects of God's love, you are enlightened and your heart is brought to a place of genuine gratitude.